Hello everyone, this is teacher Regil. This lesson is about using Venn diagram and our competency is illustrate intersection, union, and the difference of two sets. First, we are going to discuss these illustrations. We use rectangle to represent the universal set U and two circles to represent set A and set B respectively. This first illustration is A minus B. So the blue region represents A minus B. And notice here that the region common to A and B is being excluded. This here illustrates A intersection B. But actually, if you are going to look at the two sets, they don't intersect. So A and B are disjoint sets. This illustration here is A intersection B. So this blue region is the intersection. And on the other hand, the intersection of A and B prime is represented by this region which is actually the other part of this region. And this uh, one here illustrates A union B. This blue region represents A union B. And on the other hand, we have here the union of A and B prime the region is represented by this blue part here and as you can see it's also the other part of the region that belongs to A union B. We are going to use this idea in drawing our Venn diagram to represent the relationship between uh, universal set U and sets A and B. Let's do example one. The elements of U are C, O, U, and T, R, Y and the elements of A are T, R, Y. So we are going to draw the picture to show the relationship between U and A. Now first we are going to draw our universal set okay, represented by a rectangle then we are going to draw set A we will use circle and place it inside our rectangle now we are going to place the elements of A T R Y so T R Y inside the circle and the other elements are C O U N we can just scatter them around outside uh, the circle but they are still inside set U. So this is our drawing. Example number two. The elements of set U are J, U, S, T, I, C, E and the elements of A are J, U, S, T and the elements of B are I, C, E. So draw the picture to draw the relationship between U, A, and B. Now first we are going to draw the rectangle okay, that represents the universal set U. Then we are going to draw set A, a circle inside the rectangle. Now before we are going to draw our set B, we are going to check if there is or there are common elements. So there is none. So we are going to draw our set B, okay, not intersecting set A. Now we will place our elements. So for set A, J, U, S, T, so J, U, S, T inside uh, set A and then we have for 
B, the elements are I, C, E. So we will place I, C, E. And all the elements are already here. So this is our drawing. Now let's have another example. The elements of U are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The elements of A are 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 10. Elements of B are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we are going to uh, answer these eight uh, questions here. Okay. Now first we are going to draw our rectangle okay, that represents the universal set U. Okay, then we are going to draw our circle for set A. And before we are going to draw our circle for set B, we are going to check if there are common elements. So in this case, we have 6, 8, and 10. So meaning to say we will draw our set B intersecting set A. Now we will place our elements. Let's start with the common elements. We have 6, 8, and 10. So we are going to place them here in this region. Okay? Then set A. We already have 6, 8, 10. So we have 1, 3, 5. Okay? Additional elements for A. So we place them here. And then for set B, we also have uh, 6, 8, 10 already. So we need 2 and 4. So place them here. Now, all the elements that are left out must be placed here outside set A and set B, but still inside set U. And what are those elements? 7 and 9. Okay. Now we are going to answer these questions. Answer number, okay, question number one. A, intersection B. So meaning to say the common elements between A and B. So this part here. So the elements are six, eight, and 10. Now, okay, A, union B. So all the elements inside A and B. So this region here. So what are the elements? So we have 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 2, 4. Then A minus B. So this part here is A. Okay. And then we are going to remove okay b so this means this region so the elements are one three five then a prime so a is this one a prime means not this so the region should be this one again this is a set A. And A prime means not this. So the elements here are 2, 4, 7, 9. Now B prime. Okay, this is B. And B prime means not this. So meaning to say the shaded region. So the elements are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now, number 6. A, intersection B prime. So this is A, intersection B. Okay? This is A, intersection B. But A, intersection B prime means not this one. So the other part. So the elements here are, okay, 1, 3, 5, 2, 4, 7, 9. Okay, number 7, A, 
union B prime. So the A union B, okay, this inside these two circles. So A union B prime ends not inside these two circles. So I'm meaning to say this region here. So again, A union B, so this okay, region here, the white. So the elements are 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4. But A union B prime means not this. So meaning to say these two elements here. And number 8. A prime intersection B prime. Now how is that? So this is A. Okay. A prime means not this. So we need to say two four seven nine. We have two four seven nine. And B is this one. B prime means not this one. So we need to say one three five seven nine. So one three five seven nine. And the intersection meaning to say the common elements between A prime and B prime are okay, this two, seven and nine. Now, your turn. Use a Venn diagram to represent U, A, and B. Then give the elements in each item below. So, you can pause the video and uh, start working on this exercises so the elements of you are 1 2 3 4 5 11 12 13 14 15 21 22 23 24 25 and the elements of a are 1 11 12 13 14 15 and 21 the elements of b are 2 12 21 22 23 24 25 okay if you are ready I can now show you the answer. Okay, but firstly, I will help you uh, draw our Venn diagram. Okay, let's do that. Okay, first we are going to draw our rectangle to represent the universal set U. Then we are going to draw our circle for set A. Before we are going to draw our circle for set B, we are going to check if there are common elements between A and B. So we have here 12 and 21. So we need to say we are going to draw our set B intersecting set A. Okay, then we are going to place our uh, elements. First, we will start with common elements between A and B. So in this case, it's 12 and 21. So we place them here. Now, we will complete the elements of A. So we already have 12 and 21. So we have 1, 11, 13, 14, and 15 more. So we place them here. And also, for set B, we already have 12 and 21. So this means we have 2, 22, 23, 24, and 25 more. And now, okay, let's check which elements are left out from the U. Okay, we have to place them here. Okay, outside the two circles but still inside set U. So they are 3, 4, and 5. Now, you must be able to tell already or to answer the eight questions. Okay, these are the answers. A intersection B, 12 and 21. A union B, 1, 2, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. A minus B, 
1, 11, 13, 14, 15. A prime, 3, 4, 5, 2, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Then for B prime, 3, 4, 5, 1, 11, 13, 14, 15. And the intersection of A and B prime, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 11, 13, 14, 15, 22, 23, 24, and 25. The union of A and B prime, 3, 4, 5. And A prime intersection B prime, 3, 4, 5. Did you get all the items right? I hope you did. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Teacher Reggio. Keep safe.